full metal heli. We like our quadcopters heavy and hard. All right, folks. Full metal heli here. Actually, we're gonna do a little weekly update type thing of uh, some upcoming things, uh, projects that's going to be coming up in the future. we got two quadcopters that we're going to unbox. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging right now, actually, and then we'll do the unboxing, uh, you know, in a full unboxing video. Right now, I'm just going to give you guys a couple updates. We're going to start, actually, with this. This is the Inductrix, the little Inductrix. Uh, you know, actually, I've been playing with this more now since I got the Inductrix 200. It kind of sparked my interest in this little guy again. <laughs> so, went to uh, the local hobby shop, and the guy there, uh, he's got one that he actually kind of souped up. Uh, he put the uh, Micro Warehouse Motors, I believe it's called, uh, the Dark Edition Motors. Uh, and he... What else? Oh, and he also put he also put this battery in there, which he highly recommended. Compared to the stock battery, it's like way, way bigger than the stock battery, as you guys can see. This is 150 milliamps. This is uh says uh let's see here, 205 milliamps. So so that's you know, but it looks like quite a larger battery as well. And it it uh it actually fits right in here the same way the stock one does, it even has the God, I keep dropping it. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, even has the same exact end, so it's actually made to to go right in here, and you actually get quite a bit more flight time. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, my local hobby shop that I get a lot of my stuff from is uh, Graves RC in Orlando, Florida. They're great. They also have an online store which uh, you guys can order stuff from, and they always seem to have cool stuff in stock that you really need. You know, actually, they had the Blade Inductor X200 before I even was able to get it from the actual company that uh <laughs> that puts them out so you know go figure anyway uh that's one thing i wanted to show you guys was the inductor battery guys i got this v2 add-on kit uh we will do like an unboxing on this as well but uh real quickly i just want to show you it has some lenses for my goggles that there's three of them and they're uh, different magnifying strengths but they are not a plastic flimsy plastic Fresno lens these are actually acrylic magnifying lenses that are made look at that that are made made for the quantum goggles they're made for these goggles so instead of using this little flimsy flimsy little uh, Fresno lens that's in there and I'll tell you what that Fresno lens really distorts your view and makes the uh, the picture look very pixelated uh, I mean extremely pixelated it's very hard to use those to fly FPV well this is the fix for it folks this is the fix this uh, this came from uh, this came from Hobby King, actually. This is actually the V2 add-on kit. It is the V2 add-on kit for the quantum goggles. Uh, it actually shows right here your three different lenses. It, it uh, comes with a frame that actually holds the lenses. Uh, and it actually has something cool, too. It actually has a little thing that you could put your smartphone and use that uh, viewer, I guess they're called... Uh, <laughs> Not really sure what they're called, but I guess if, like, uh, let's say you had a a Phantom and you were using your phone for the uh, for you know the app, so you can see where you're going. Well, you could do FPV by putting your phone in inside your quantum goggles too with this kit. And this kit here was, uh, I believe, it was thirty four dollars. Uh, I will put a link up though, and it comes with a bunch of extensions, and we'll actually have a video. Like I said, explaining this in full, and we're actually going to see how good it does, because I'm really curious to see if it makes a big improvement with these goggles, because the way they come out the box with with the Fresno lens, not really crazy about it. Oh, wait, one more thing, too, I want to show you guys, sorry. We also have these mini lenses that I ordered. These are actually for your smartphone. They are... There's two of them, and they're uh, wide-angle lenses, and we're going to see if we can attach you somehow to, like, the front of a couple of these different uh, quadcopter cameras that have those little pinhole lenses. Uh, 
we're going to see if we get a tad seat. Very similar to, I'll tell you what, the one that actually came on the Sky Warrior, the K70 camera, is the same exact concept. I mean, it's actually the same thing as just, it's just a wide angle lens. It actually unscrews and you can take it off. I actually found a use for the <laughs> stock k Dane camera, actually. You can use this lens, which is cool. It's actually, and actually this lens, I'll be honest with you, it looks better than these lenses so far from what I've seen, so. Anyway, we'll have a full, uh, you know, a full video showing some of the footage um, using these lenses. All right, let's get to these quadcopters and see what we got here, folks. First of all, we're gonna open this one right here. This, I think, is the Yachini. I kind of peeked up in here a little bit. Couldn't really tell for sure, but I think this is... I hope I'm pronouncing it right, too. Uh, let's see here before I say for sure. Old silver bullet in the house. All right, yes, it is. This is the Yachini, is how you pronounce it, I believe. I'm not really sure. Uh, I've ordered stuff, actually. Their stuff is actually pretty good. They make an FPV ready-to-go kit. It's uh, your camera, your 5.8 transmitter, and, uh, and an antenna. I mean, it's the whole kit, ready to go. It plugs right into the balancing port on your battery. And uh, it's actually pretty good. So, I, you know, figured I'd give this a try. It was, and this is only, I believe, like twenty-seven dollars, folks. Uh, so, from uh, Banggood. Actually, both of these are from Banggood. Uh, the box looks a little beat up, though. I'm kind of seeing that now. Uh, all right, we're gonna do an unboxing, Dodd. Like I said, we will be doing an unboxing. Uh, Wow, that's a cool looking uh, quadcopter though. And we'll see what it, you know, we'll see what she does. We'll do a flight video as well. Alright, let's see what this one is here. This one here is a big old box. I'm almost positive I know what this is. Got a little knot up here. That must be the adapter. Yep, that's what it is. That is the US adapter for the charging plug, I'm sure. Alright, this I think is the Zinlin, the one that supposedly, <laughs> actually in the ad it says brushless motor similar <laughs> or something to that fact. Yes, that's exactly what it is. This is the one that actually uses the motors that are in like the Cymax 8 and the K-Dang Sky Warrior, but instead of having gears, it's direct drive. It's actually running right off of the motors themselves. Wow, that looks really cool actually, folks. We're going to do an unboxing video of this actually. We're going to go ahead and stop this and get to doing an unboxing of this. I'm kind of excited to see what's inside here. And then we'll be getting to this guy too as well. So, anyway, that was just my little weekly update. You know, I just want to give you guys an idea of what's coming in the near future here. If you like the video, peace out.